little shirt shop. Oh, I could do all my Poshmark photos here, like item for sale. Hey guys, it's Drew here, and I'm actually editing this video as we speak right now, and I realized I did not create an intro. So I just wanted to give a little intro to this video, a preface, basically. It's going to be a bathroom makeover video. The bathroom's actually right here, so I'm gonna pan over here a little bit. Uh, this is just going to be like the before and after process. I did a lot of really cool things, and I thought I'd film it and kind of create my its own moving vlog out of the video, and I hope it gives you guys, give you, gives you guys a couple of tips and tricks on what you can do in your own bathroom. A lot of affordable, affordable like upgrades and options and things that you guys can maybe introduce in your own bathroom. So yeah, let's jump into it. Okay guys, this is my bathroom before and I'm filming it on my phone because my vlog camera is dead. And it's not an awful bathroom at all. It's, a, it's actually like an amazingly sized bathroom. And a lot of people may like this orange countertop. I personally do not like it at all. Humongous mirror here. It's a very, very large. Toilets here. I have a trash can in here and I have like a little candle up here. And then the, the sh uh, shower is just like right behind. But I'm honestly not doing too much to the bathroom, but I thought I would make this its own vlog because it's gonna be full bathroom, like redecor decoration sort of a thing. I wanna hang a couple images. I'm gonna redo the entire countertops with contact paper. So let's get into redoing the bathroom space. So I got these on Amazon and I will link them below. It was only $7 each, so $21 of contact paper and I might only have to use two of them. I'm not sure I bought a third just as an extra. And you may be asking, yes, these are water resistant. They are meant to be put on countertops. You can do lots of stuff with them. They're not, it's essentially just like a thin plastic sheet that just sticks on. Um, so as long as you're not super rough and you're not like running into the edges and stuff. I think it should be totally fine. But I do think the hardest part is gonna be going around the sink, just the circle area is gonna be a little bit tricky and around the faucet here. So I probably just put a sheet all the way across and then sort of exacto knife out this section and then do a section on the inside rim as well. I'm not 100% sure how well that's gonna turn out, the circle, because it's also not super, sorry for this, it's kind of gross because I haven't cleaned it in a couple days, but um, it's not super, it's rounded here. So that might be a bit tricky because it's a circle and it's rounded. So I'm not sure how well that's gonna match up. So essentially, I think that this first sheet of the paper is gonna go right here and then come all the way down and over this ledge. And the second sheet is where it's gonna start having to cut in and I might even have it just go right to here so it's halfway so the seam lines right in the center of the sink because I think that would look more proportionate. actually about an hour later, I went through a whole roll and messed it all up because I actually realized, and my phone died, which is why I stopped filming. I was just frustrated and my phone died, but I figured it out. This actually is not supposed to be here. I was starting up here and I was pressing towards, as a lot of you guys saw, pressing towards the end, but I actually started on this edge and pressed towards this way and it made it so much more smoother because the first time I applied it, it was the most insane air bubbles and creases, like full on folds, where it was like sticking up a half inch folded. And then there's actually a few air bubbles here, you can probably see them, but an easy way to get these out is just to take like a knife, like for example this, and you just sort of do, do like a tiny little poke on top of them, it's like a little poke. And then you, you should be able to just like kind of press the air bubble out. So I'll film a little bit more of my process right now on the tripod so you guys can see a bit more of the marbling on the counter. on the vlog camera and it is completely done. Here's the counter. 
Um, it honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like fake marble just because, like, it's just so white. It's not, the wall's, like, a little bit more yellow, but I think... Like, it looks legit at the same time. Like, it looks really nice. The seams look good. Like, I don't think that these are too noticeable of seams. Like, you can kind of see it, but it's not crazy. Like, if you really look in the light, you can see the seams. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. And I love the coloring of the uh, accents I've already purchased, which I'll show when I style the rest of the bathroom. So it's a couple days later after I did the marble countertop sort of DIY that I shared with you guys. And so far, so good. It's not like peeling. It's a little bit dirty. I should actually probably wipe it off a little bit. But today I just want to finish up the bathroom. I bought a few things which I want to share with you. Uh, but I guess I'll show this part first. These are a couple pieces I think I shared in my home decor haul. And they're just like bathroom accessory sort of things. All these are from Target. Target, Target. Target, Target, uh, Home Goods, this little glass container. This actually holds m kind of like my jewelry, and this is like the headband I use when I put face masks on and things, and this literally came on my sheet set that I bought from like Macy's. But I wanted to share with you guys the soap that I put in my dispenser, because it smells so good. It's from Target. It's this rosemary scent. I just dug it out of the trash to literally show you, but it's all inside of the green container there. A couple new items. I got two hand towels, uh, just two black hand towels, pretty generic. And then at Target, I found this pack. This is from their like pillow fort collection, which is the kids line. But it's an eight pack of, uh, what are these, washcloths. And it's like two medium grays, light grays, and then some white ones. And I just love this. It was only $4.99 as well. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for all of those. And then I also grabbed this at Anthro, an additional towel rack for the bathroom. This is quite a big new accessory that I got. It's from Anthro as well. It's an amazing mirror and it's brass on the edges. I need to give it a little bit of a cleaning. I just brought it home actually and it's so pretty. I love the leather details but I got it on amazing discount. It was $100 half off with like an additional 15% so I thought that was great for this mirror and then I also picked this up at Urban. I thought it was just very pretty and I thought it would go nice in the bathroom. It's like a little moon, hammered moon with these bit of chain detail on there. And last but not least, at Target I got this wall shelf and I loved it. I thought it was really great. I love the natural wood and then bringing back in those brass tones like in the mirror. So um, yeah, I got this wall shelf which is gonna go over by my toilet area. I brought the rug into the bathroom and I don't know you guys, this is an urban rug, but for some reason it already kind of looks dirty. Like, do you see this kind of over here? It looks a little dirty, but I have not walked on it with shoes. And if I walk in here with shoes, I always sort of like fold it back and then I'll like walk right here to like fix anything and then I'll pu pull it back. But I feel like it looks kind of dirty for some reason, but I love, love, love the uh, pattern on it. I kind of just want to hang up the shelf right now because uh, I want to put some of my skincare on there because it's all just trapped in the drawers in there. So I thought I would hang up my shelf. Let's just start off with that. Yeah. Finished the base of it. And this would actually look so good just like uh, if you wanted to use it as like a shelf system sort of on a desk or something. Like you don't even need to hang this on a wall. I love it. So it's gonna actually go right on this wall like above here. So I wanna put it there, uh, but I don't know how I'm gonna make it straight, but I am the king of winging things. So let's put it up. Success, the shelf is hung. I actually only did the screws here because I'm trying to put as minimal screws on the wall, even though you're supposed to put four in here. It seems pretty sturdy like, um, on there and I'm really only going to be putting a couple items on there. I'm not like adding books or heavy objects so I think it should be fine. I wish that my bathroom had a window so badly because I think natural light would be like just so much prettier in here. Whoa I am so blue. I think natural light just looks so much better. Maybe I should just like never turn on the light in here. Like it looks pretty right? And, like the shelving section over here. Looks so much better than that artificial yellow lighting. I also got this little mirror at Ikea. It's called the Frack. I think that's quite funny. Um, but it's just like one of those little mirrors that sort of come off the wall. And I thought that it would add like a nice little accent. So I'm gonna hang that as well. And I don't know. I don't even know what I would use this for. Maybe if I was like tweezing my eyebrow, like 
really tweeze. Oh, this is actually kind of good if I was filming something, like. And my idea for this mirror was actually just to sort of hang it on this hook here that was already here prior. And I know it serves zero purpose because you really can't even, like, use it. But I just liked the whole quality of, like, the way it looks. I will take an Insta photo here for you guys and post it. And that will be my sole purpose for this photo. Or for this mirror. And last but not least, I want to hang up the little hook. I kind of want to hang this one a bit higher just so there's like a little bit of a height difference here. My bathroom is coming together way better than I thought it would. Would, would, would. And then I have this. Oh, this is so good. A diving man into the black waters. I love that. So minimal. And the rug. And then the mirror. Oh my gosh, like a little shirt shot. Oh my, I could do all my Poshmark photos here. Like item for sale. And then this, and the marble counters. You guys, this is looking better than I thought because when I first moved in, the bathroom looked a little crusty and you can kind of like see it. I'll put it over the screen from when I showed you guys like my, the moving in tour. I mean, it didn't look bad, but uh, I think it looks a lot better. I love it. It fits my aesthetic so much more.